Good morning. I thought we'd just do a very short video um, to show you the steps I go through each morning uh, to post products in my online shop and to start to put my adverts in the buying and selling pages. Uh, this is just going to be um, a rough guide to how I uh, work it. Now, um, if you've watched the other videos, uh, the other day I had a theme going for Valentine's Day. That's not Valentine's Day, but we had a lot of Valentine's Day products. They all swap around with people liking them. There we go, Valentine's Day. I left it a bit late. A lot of the products were no longer available. So today I've decided that I'm going to choose uh, products for the men for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to, uh, let's start in gifts. That Paris duvet that you see there, I had uh, been looking at the homepage and somebody had uh, put a picture of their bedroom that they had just decorated and the wallpaper um, was identical to the bedspread. So I sent her a wee message uh, saying, uh, I have a duvet cover that would match that and in a photograph. So I think we'll get a sale there. So we're looking for gifts for men. Uh, we'll keep going. There's a possibility there. The problem with doing these live trainings is that it shows up. Um, now, I know that this is only for married men. But I think that the wives will like this. <laughs> it's funny, it's amusing. So I'm going to see if these are in stock. Where does it went? I don't know if I've done before now, but uh, I forgot. My mouse keeps freezing, which is very, very, very annoying. I want to uh, see this in stock. <clears throat> and the pop code on. And there's plenty of them. So we'll see the wee picture. And keeping the product codes for easy reference. So if somebody wants to buy them, I just need to open the picture and the codes there. I don't have to search through everything for it. Nice and easy. Okay, and <clears throat> now what we want to do is go to pick okay. We manly edge on them, blue colour. Black's a bit boring, makes it doesn't really make it stand out much. Let's try blue. Get some black. And just save it and override, place the original one, so there's not any accidents. <coughs> and then what I'm going to do next is post this in my group. Always um, do start discussion, actually. Let's 
sorry. It doesn't have to be war and peace. <laughs> And you're only having to do it once because what we're going to do is copy the text if I paste in. I don't want to post it as a sale. And there's product number one. Now you can go and put your four products on. Well, what I do is I put product number one on 10 or 15. As I forgot to copy the text, which I normally do at the time. So let's go back. Um, these things are sent to try. It's just when you're recording it. But you're going to do things like that, so I suppose that's realistic. <laughs> There we go, pop, up you go. Done. Next one. And that one's been submitted and is pending approval by admin. Now, what I do with ones like that is I check by searching my name up here to make sure that they are being approved. If you're only posting a few you'll see that you'll notice the approvals or recognise the approvals as they come through but if you're posting a lot you can lose track so I just do a quick search because if they're not posting your products just delete the group. Um, no point of wasting your time. You'll notice the group that you're in is in black uh, bold, should I say, so you don't lose track of where you are if you have to go away to your desk or whatever you're doing it. Your phone, your laptop on your knee. You can get quite addictive. <laughs> Sometimes I say I'm only going to post a few. And end up just keep going. I'll just do another one. I'll just do another one. I'll just do another one. Now down the left hand side, I've got my favourites, which are local ones. I just I for the selling side of the business, I do go all over, but um, I start locally, just psychologically, people who are local. Uh, maybe more likely to respond to you. I have sold, as I've said before in previous trainings, 10 bird nest boxes up in Aberdeen. Um, stuff, oops, what happened there? Pop. Looks good though. <laughs> Aye, I don't know what happened there. I opened up that picture by mistake. <clears throat> Did I post that one? Yep. See how bad my memory is? You hopefully won't be battling things like a dreadful memory and perhaps won't make a catalogue errors. But you probably don't chat away to the computer as you're doing it. Which, um, strangely enough, I'm getting very used to doing. Oops. If you post it as a sale, then people have to be looking to actually buy some things. Sometimes people go in there because they're part of a thread or having a conversation. They're not necessarily looking to buy something. So they might not go to that section. Whereas if you put it on the wall, a group wall like this as a discussion, yeah, I could see it accidentally. <clears throat> so there you see, there's a few posted already. Once I post 10 to 15, I would just go back and have another wee look. 
I was going to put the watch up. I've seen a watch a few times. I know there's one in the sale, but um, let's see if there's a nice one in the gifts. And my computer has decided to freeze. Um, but basically, that that's how I do it. You just go through the products, choose your select a few products. I, um, I will admit, when I first started to do this, it was a bit of a... Oh, well, a peck, and it seemed to take me ages, but you do get quicker, you do get, um, I just scroll through the products and watch for things that catch my eye, and because there's so many amazing products, I don't find that too uh, difficult. At the moment, I'm looking for the um, a nice watch. I know there's one here, but I can just, there's the one I was looking for. So... Check if it's in stock. And what would I recommend is you put roughly about 15 at a time and then have a wee break. Well, I don't have a break. There's only 80 of them. I'm going to take a risk and put while stocks last. Um, that might be that might go quickly but I'll put fell stops last because if it's brand new catalogue and uh, it's one of the top selling products you could have 5,000 in there and they could go in a few days uh, I generally look for to have you know between 50 and 100 but because it's a new catalogue and I'm not sure if this is from the new catalogue 80 is a low amount but if it's a, a long running product 80 is fine if that makes sense if we go back here, but what we say, we recommend that you post 10 to 15, have a break, and then go back and post another 10 to 15. And the reason for that is the Facebook policing system, uh, they don't want you to do free advertising. So if you do a lot of activity um, all at once, it can flag up as suspicious. Um, so instead of doing 10 to 15 and having a break, do 10 to 15 and then go and pick your other product. Like I'm doing just now and get it framed and get it ready to go on your group. And that effectively is having a wee break. Stick to the blue for my manly theme. Make my wee bit wider. <coughs> It's so quick and easy. Replace it, yes, replace it. Let's see what those card men. I might copy some of the text there. Whoops, we want to put it in one man max online shop first. Now, I've just, uh, eight minutes ago, posted that last product. Make a lovely gown. I'm not very good with words. <laughs> um, I'm not so good with this men's roller. It's only twenty pound. Let's just leave it at that. If you're not too good with words, don't worry about it. As I said, not neither am I. And to be fair, my daughter uh, looked after my group for a few weeks for me. And she has, she actually does uh, what's called a search engine optimization for a living and copyright. And she's done advertising, uh, Facebook advertising in her last job. Um, and basically, uh, for want of a better word, it was just too clever, too fancy. The products all had fancy borders. Uh, uh, her writing was amazing. 
Um, but I didn't sell as many products, so maybe just keeping it simple is a better idea. So, whoops, what are you doing there? We've duplicated the text, but I'll just make sure I've copied it because the last time I forgot to copy it. And then I would start where I finished off, <laughs> which I've took a note of, which was, um, where we go, uh, blah, 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 items for sale. We didn't get a uh, Libby, that was it. <coughs> I'm missing out the Edinburgh one for now. That shouldn't really be on my favourites. And then I would just basically start again. And this pine and sell. Now hang on a wee minute. You can see that one's been sent to admin for approval. Keep an eye on that one because if they're not posting um, my adverts, then there isn't any point in continuing to advertise. And then what I would do is keep going to get the bottom of there, which is 40, and then I'd open up my Word document and do my 50 to 60. I'd start next by going into Edinburgh and um, places that are just on the outskirts because uh, psychologically from Edinburgh I get loads of sales as well because a lot of people work in West Lothian um, one woman Gina she gets me to deliver it to her daughter in uh, Mid Calder so you get sales uh, from other places uh, and that's going to conclude the training for today I uh, thank you very much for your time